Hey, so this one's about uh, whether it's the journey or the destination. So most people know this one because there's a saying, it's not the, it's about the journey, not the destination. And this, um, I would say, it's certainly a theme in my life right now. It's something that keeps coming up. So I decided to make a video about it. Um, just a funny thing. You know, I, I would say it's both because you probably wouldn't go on the journey if you didn't have some kind of a destination in mind. I mean, you, you have uh, an idea of something that you would like to do, then you head in that direction. I mean, but, um, you know, and that takes you places and it's important to then um, to be flexible. You know, it's good to have an idea, to have a dream for what it's worth that you're chasing or uh, a vision, something that speaks to you on a level that is, I don't know, profound and it's just something personal. And so I certainly, I live like that. I have certain things I want to do. Like I, you know, I went on this trip to Mexico mm, a few months, I left about a year ago anyways. And, you know, I was, I thought I was going to be able to finish my book and, um, reflecting on things now uh even though i went down and i made all the progress that i needed to and i made a tremendous amount of progress yeah um at the end of the day uh with what i'm learning now about the mind and the levels of mind uh with intellect and ego and pure mind and stuff like that even though i had like i had a lot to say and and all this kind of stuff I wasn't quite there yet. So really, um, you know, I had no chance at all at finishing my book, even though it's, you know, that's what I set out to do. And it's, um, it's funny. I don't know. I mean, I find it kind of humbling to just see how little... I don't know, not how little control that I have, but how how many factors are at, at play at any given time in any sort of scenario that is happening in life. And it's just like, you, know, you make all the plans that you want. I, I even have a joke, it's like, it's like uh, God's suggestion box, it's over there right and you can put all the suggestions in it that you want but he never checks it now of course i don't believe in god in that sense but just as like a joke using like the old school kind of idea of what that word could signify you know and even like when i sold my i had a condo years ago i don't know many years ago five years ago or something I sold it and I thought I would same thing finish writing my book I'd already been writing it for seven years and then I you know ended up spending every penny and then some and now I find myself in a in a serious financial bind because I was so sure of myself I was so convinced that I was going to be able to um finish it off like it's because i didn't really understand that it's an organic process where um things that you go through in your life kind of fill in the missing blanks and sometimes you reach a point where you need to move in another direction uh it certainly happened down in mexico this time where i lost the wind in my sails i was doing so well and i i had everything behind it it seemed so right for every reason and then it just kind of fizzled and it's like it's it's a tough one to to surrender to that and to let go of the insistence and that desire and this you know this idea that we you know can control well, yeah, I suppose there are some things in life you can control self-control right but as far as other things in life it's sometimes a little bit more complex than that and so it's why it's you know, you have to learn to go with the flow, to roll with the punches kind of deal. And like even for myself, I mean, I don't like talking about myself, but it's just that's that's how I can relate to all this kind of stuff. Is like I 
was so gung-ho to become a yoga teacher. I have practiced yoga twice a day, every day for the last year because I wanted to level up. I've been on a crazy diet, doing all this stuff, everything, go, 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 go. And I, and then this yoga course came up in town here. And then I was planning on doing this one in New York um, in the, at the beginning of next year. And then it hurt my back. And it's not like it's like really hurt. I still fully functional. I sleep fine. I can run around. I, I can do all the things that I need to do, but I dare not. I thought it would just go away really quickly. Uh, and then a week later, I re-injured it, I guess. I was doing yoga moves anyways. And, and I thought, okay, that's enough of a wake up call. I need to give my body time to rest. And so it's like, wow, not just a week. It's not, it's not just slow down it's stop and that's tough it can be tough you know yeah it's certainly i i have to swallow that because like i i it's not something to mess around with especially when it's just like a little a little pull you know and if you give it th you know three weeks or more to heal yeah of course it's going to heal but yeah, just uh, a real challenge sometimes when you have the your plans swept out from underneath you. Like, you know, I was married at one point and it didn't work out either. You know, I, I look at my whole life and so like it, I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, right? But I, I failed it everything that I've ever set out to do, anything that I've ever pursued has either blown up in my face or just been, or just w w been washed away by the tide or I've screwed up myself, right? So, you know, and I've learned to just roll with it because there's no other option. Other than well, of course, to get angry, but I'm just not an angry person and I'm not a, I don't have a victim mentality either. So I, it's not like I don't ever experience negativity, but I don't dwell on it for very long. It doesn't take long until I move through it and see through it and then it's not a big deal anymore. So, yeah, you know, and I, I find myself fixing up this van and it's like, I have no... It's funny because it's like, I don't know what to do at times. It's like, should I just not have any idea about what I'm doing or how it's going to work out or what I would like and just completely let go and surrender to what is. And I mean, I'm working towards that. I, I suppose that is what's happening. And that's why I'm sitting here making a video about the journey and the destination. Yeah. I know it's it's basic, but you know, I, I guess I, I I like to share it just because it is it's such a human thing to go through. And I think this is something that everybody faces at some time, usually multiple times in their life, because until you learn how to surrender, how to let go, how to hand the reins over to a higher power and how to practice acceptance and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that comes from like teachings, like spiritual teachings and stuff. So it takes a lot to arrive at a place. And I know I'm reading right now the Tibetan book of living and dying. Um, and it talks about that stuff, you know, I know that it's like, I think it's like, just for, like for myself, it's like if you're working along these lines, it's a good sign because it's like the major 
thing in life is to understand your mind, how your mind works, the nature of reality. Like the, the first law in Hermeticism is all is mind, the world is mental. I mean, so it's like, it's huge. It's, it's, it's huge to be working on things like that and to, you know, starting to be able to grasp that kind of stuff. Like I remember reading things about it before in yoga and it just went over my head because I wasn't there yet. I didn't have a, a, um, a way to, a reference for it. I didn't have something to, a way to relate to what I was reading. It was just like, okay. But then once you have certain experiences and come to, you know, arrive at that kind of, those kinds of understandings on your own terms, right? In your own way, then it starts to make sense. And, oh man, this is just a long-winded way of saying like, holy struggle sometimes, but yeah, so. You know, I know like all the, you know, one a teacher that I respect a lot is Bashar Daralanka, who channels Bashar and like he always says it's about the journey, not the destination. It's like what did you learn along the way? Did you did you learn something at every step along the way? How did it change you? You know, what did you how did you grow from it or did you miss opportunities? So yeah, that's it. Slowly learning.